Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Juan, I'm a yarn addict, hence the name Juan the Yarn Addict, and I want to thank each and every one of you guys for stopping by to check out my video today. In today's video, I offer you a tutorial. Yes, a tutorial for one of my latest creations, which is called the Driftwood Ridges Scarf. So as you saw in the thumbnail, it's composed of a cream color as well as a taupe color. The yarn that I used was Scarfy Yarns, one of my favorite yarns. Um, the colorway is cream and taupe self-explanatory and I decided to make this scarf because I wanted it to be completely versatile in that it can be worn as a hug a scarf or a shawl and it can be worn day or night and it can be paired with basically anything that you decide to put on that particular day or night so without further ado that's what this is looking like folded up and it's composed of the alpine stitch using a treble crochet instead of the traditional double crochet when I did this in some of my other projects, I absolutely fell in love with it because it actually pronounces the stitch a little more than using the traditional double crochet. And then every 10 rows, I input uh, front post double crochets to give me that ridge. So let me go ahead and open this and show you what it looks like opened up. And so this is what it's looking like. It's really nothing too complicated. It is an advanced beginner's design, so um, it's not too complicated. Trust me, I break down everything so that even the beginner can do this. If you have to rewind me, feel free to do so. I feel like anyone can do this if you just give it some effort. Give it your best shot. Keep rewinding me if you have to. Once you get the pattern down, it's mindless. You can just continue to go and go and go until you're done. So I will go into further detail about the specs once I put you in tutorial mode. But without further ado, let's just jump right into it. I wish all of you guys the best with this project. I know you guys can turn it out and make it as wonderful as you want it to be. So um, let's just jump right into it, guys. Okay, friends. So some specs regarding the scarf. Let me just go ahead and pull this under the video camera here. Okay. So this is the actual scarf, just a piece of it anyway. And so the yarn I used was Scarfy Yarns, and the colorway was Cream Taupe, I believe. Yes, Cream Taupe. And this particular scarf took three of these, three complete skeins with literally just that left. Um, so three of this particular uh, yarn is 936 yards. I took 930 yards to complete this project with about six yards left over, give or take. So there's that. And as I said in the very beginning, um, going long ways, it measures 72 inches. And then going down the center, which is here, let me just get it correct here. So going down from the center, going down this way, it measures 30 inches, okay? And the particular label here specifies that we use uh, a six and a half millimeter crochet hook. I did not use that. I used a six millimeter um, J hook. So that's what was used for this. I highly recommend that if you're going to follow this tutorial with scarfy yarns, I would recommend that you go down a hook because you're doing treble crochets. So you're already going to have drape it's not going to be tight at all. Um, if you go with the recommended size, it might be a little too drapey. So unless you like that look, then I would stick with the six and a half millimeter um, crochet hook. Otherwise, um, I would recommend going to a six millimeter crochet hook. Okay. So what are you going to need for this tutorial? Very simple. You're going to need a crochet hook. You're going to need a darning needle to sew in your ends. You're going to need a pair of scissors, obviously, and you're going to need some yarn. So I would also recommend that you choose the yarn that you want. So Scarfy Yarns is considered a bulky five weight yarn. However, it's not a thick five weight yarn. So you could actually get away with uh, uh, an Aran weight, four weight yarn, um, or you can use another five weight yarn. It's completely up to you. You could even use a four weight yarn. If you do decide to use a four weight yarn, 
I would highly recommend that you still stick with the six millimeter crochet hook. There's just something magical about a six millimeter crochet hook. I don't know the details behind it, but it works wonders. Okay, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get this tutorial started. Hi friends, so let's go ahead and get started with today's project. What we need to do is to create a slip knot on our hook. So however you do that is fine as long as the end result is this, just like that, okay? So from here what we need to do is chain four. One, two, three, and four, just like that, okay? Now what we need to do is insert the head of our hook into the first chain, grab our yarn, and then go through, just like that. Pull back, open up your circle there. You should see a circle there, okay? Chain two. And now what you wanna do is you wanna go into that circle with four double crochets. One, two, three, four, chain two, and then go back into that circle with four double crochets. One, two, three, and four, just like that, okay? Next, what we need to do is chain two and turn our work. One, two, and we turn our work, okay? This particular row is going to get single crochets, okay? In our growth stitch, the first and the last stitch of each and every row are the growth stitches, okay? So for the row of single crochets, what we need to do is insert three single crochets into that very first stitch, just like that. Next, you'll see three double crochets here from the previous row. We're going to insert one single crochet into each one of those three. One, two, and three. Now in the apex of our triangle here, it's the corner, we're going to insert one single crochet, chain two, and one single crochet. Now what we need to do is insert a single crochet into each of the next three stitches. One, two, and three. And there should be one stitch left, which is right there. And that stitch right there is going to get three single crochets. One, two, and three, just like that, okay? And now that concludes row two, okay? And to start row three, let's go ahead and chain two and turn our work. So row three begins the rows that we start alternating in that alpine stitch, okay? So to start that, what we're going to do is in our growth stitch, which is right here, the first stitch of the row, we're going to do three double crochets. One, two, and three, okay? Now we're going to insert we're gonna do a front post treble crochet. We're gonna skip this row here and we're gonna come down here, okay? We're gonna wrap around twice. We're gonna come down to the first stitch because remember row one had four stitches here. We're gonna go into the first one and we're gonna around the first one, sorry. We're gonna go around that stitch just like that. Grab the yarn, pull through, and then go through two, go through two, and go through two, just like that. Now it's gonna look wonky, don't worry about that. It will actually straighten out later on, okay? But for now, this is how we're looking. Now what we need to do, after you've done your very first front post treble crochet, look back behind here. Let's get that situated, okay. What we're gonna do is skip the next two stitches. And in that third one, we're going to do a double crochet. Okay, so just a little bit of a recap. In the first growth stitch, you're putting three double crochets, and then you're doing a front post treble down here in the first one from two rows down. Then you're gonna look back and skip two. Skip two of the stitches. 
in the third one, you're going to do a double crochet. And then from here, we're going to do a front post treble in the second one of the four. There we go. Just like that. So it's going to alternate. You're going to have a treble, a double, and a treble. Okay? And then you're going to put a double in the next one. Now, mind you, you're skipping the stitches, so the treble crochet is actually sitting in front of the stitch that you're going to skip. Okay? So then you're going to go into here, the next stitch, and do a double crochet. So what you want it to look like is this. Three doubles, a front post a treble, a double, a treble, and a double. And when I say treble, I mean front post. Throughout this whole project, all trebles are front post trebles, okay? Now, looking at the pattern, I have nowhere to place a treble, right? Because this particular stitch belongs to the double, right? Because if we're alternating, so we're not going to insert anymore. We're going to go ahead and put a double crochet here and a double crochet into the apex just like that and then we're going to chain two we're going to go back in and place a double crochet back in that apex and remember what I said before whatever happens on this side will happen on this side okay that's how we keep it even so looking back we did a double crochet because that's what happened there and then here, next, we're going to do two double crochets. We're going to match it. So, double crochet here, and a double crochet in the next one. And now, we're going to do a front post treble crochet in this second one, right there. So, wrap around twice, go around the second double crochet, just like that. which it sits right behind the stitch, right? And then what we want to do is a double crochet in the next one. Just make sure you're skipping only one stitch. Sometimes it's, you know, it naturally falls into where you might skip two. Just make sure you're only skipping one and it's the one where the stitch is sitting in front of it, okay? Let's wrap around twice, okay? And now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the, the very first one here. So we're going to go down, wrap around, go through two, go through two, go through two. Just like that. Okay? Now when you flip around, you'll see three stitches left. You're going to skip two, just like you did on this side. See how we skipped two on the first side here? So on this side here, you're going to skip two. And all we have left is this one stitch. And in that stitch, we're going to do three double crochets. One. Two. Three. Just like that. Okay. And so that ends row three. Okay, to start round four, what we need to do is chain two and turn our work. Just like that. And then the first stitch here is our growth stitch, so we want to insert three single crochets. So row four is a, all single crochets here. So single crochets. We're going to do three in the first one, right, which was our growth stitch, just like that. And now we're going to do a single crochet in every stitch along the side, just like this. The row was small enough so I don't have to pause or anything. Just like that. And then in the apex, we're going to do a single crochet, chain two, and a single crochet, just like that. Now we want to continue on doing single crochets all the way down until we get to this last stitch right here. This, this stitch right here, we're going to stop before this stitch. Okay. So let's go and do single crochets all the way down. OK. 
Okay, so here we are. So this last stitch, like the beginning, it gets three single crochets. Just like that. Okay, and then now, this is the end of row four. Just like that. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is chain two and turn our work for row five. So if you're noticing, every other row is a row of single crochets, and that's going to be the repeat. Every other row is going to be single crochets, and that's going to hold all of your trebles together. Okay, so this is the front side, this is the back side. On the front side is the only side that gets the trebles. When it's on the wrong side, that's the side that gets all of the singles. Okay, so this row here is going to be a row of front post trebles. So to start, what we're going to do is in our growth stitch right here, the very first one, we're going to do three double crochets two and three now at the beginning of our treble rows we do the three doubles and then we skip two okay but before we skip the two we're going to insert a treble front post a front post treble right here in that stitch we're going to go around that very first one Go through two, go through two, go through two. That's how that looks. And then just flip back and you'll see these, we're gonna skip these two stitches right here. We're gonna go into the third one with a double crochet. Just like that. Okay, so that gets a treble that is left alone. And then now we're gonna do a front post treble in this stitch right here, because it's every other one. So let's wrap around twice, go around that stitch, and let's go ahead and do a treble, just like that. And then now, in the next stitch, it's going to be a double crochet, and if you notice, from the previous row, that's a treble, right? Yep. So we're going to go ahead and put a double crochet right above the front post treble from the beginning rows there. Okay, we will never ever ever continue on carrying the front posts along the way. The double crochets will always sit on top of the trebles. Okay, just like that. And that's actually going to help you later on throughout the pattern. If you see the front post, you're only going to put a double crochet above it. Okay. So now the next one gets a front post treble, which is in between these two. So we're going to go in and around. Just go through two, go through two, and go through two, just like that. And now the next stitch gets a double crochet, and it's going to sit right on top of this treble here. Just like that. Okay. And now... We're going to go ahead and put a front post treble right next to, because here's the treble from the row before. So we're going to do one right here. Okay. And next, we're going to go ahead and do a double crochet right here. Just one time there. Got a little ahead of myself. Just like that. So this particular double crochet goes with this particular stitch right here, okay? So now we're going to go ahead and do a front post treble right here in the first one. We're just alternating all the way up, just like that. If you look, it's yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Does it get it? So you have the three doubles and then treble, double, treble, double, all the way up. Yes, no, yes, no. And you're left with two stitches. You have a single crochet here, and then you have your apex. So you're going to go ahead and just do a double crochet in this single crochet from the row prior, just like that row previous, and then a double crochet right there in the apex, just like that. Okay. 
and then you're going to chain two, and you're going to mimic exactly what you see here, but on the other side. So you're going to do a double crochet in the apex, just like that. Oops, slipped out. There we go. And then the next stitch gets a double crochet, just like the other side there. We're just mirroring it. So now, a front post treble crochet in the very first stitch right here, just like this side here. Yep. Let me just make sure I get that right. Yeah, there we go. Just like that. Okay, and now we're just going to alternate all the way down. So we did a uh, front post treble here. So in this next uh, stitch, it's going to get a double crochet. Just like that. Here we go. And now in this particular stitch right here, we're going to do a front post treble crochet because we did one here, so it's skipping. Just like that. Okay. And now next, we're going to go ahead and do a double crochet. If you ever need to check your work, just flip over. Make sure you're skipping the stitches as you go. Okay. And now, we did the double, which is on top of this treble here. See the straight line there? And now in the next stitch, what we need to do is a front post treble crochet right there. Just like that. Okay. Then a double crochet. And then a front post treble in the next one. Okay, and it's okay if it's a little spacey like that. The next row is going to be single crochets, so it's going to bind that right up. And then in the next one, we're going to do a double crochet. If you look, we're now down to the last three. So what we need to do is we need to go ahead and do a front post treble right down in here. See, down here, there were three double crochets. This one got the front post treble. Now this one needs to get the front post treble. So we're going to wrap around twice and come down here. Just do it just like that. Pull this down. And then expose that last stitch. Because remember, we're skipping two. Just like we did in the beginning. See, we skipped those two stitches right here. So on this side, we're skipping two. Now on this last one here, we're going to go ahead and insert our hook and do three double crochets. One, two, and three. Just like that. We're going to chain two and turn our work. Okay, there we go. And the way I keep track of my row counts is the single crochets are your even numbered rows. So if you look, the first row you did a double crochet, a chain, uh, single crochet, and then the post. So if you ever get lost, I just look at the back and you see the row of, of singles here. So two, four, and now we're on row six, okay? So in our very first stitch, our growth stitch, we're gonna go ahead and do three single crochets. And we're gonna continue doing single crochets all the way down until we get to the apex. Just like that. Go ahead and continue on and I will meet you down at the tip here. Okay, so here we are at the tip. 
the apex. We're just going to go ahead and do a single crochet, chain two, and a single crochet. And then we're going to continue on doing single crochets all the way down until we get to the last stitch of the row, which is down here. So I will see you when we get here. Okay. Okay, so here we are at the last stitch, and I just wanted to show you that sometimes that last stitch is hard to find. You're going to have to actually look for it. It's like curved downward, so, but if you tilt it back, you can take a quick look and see that that's there. So go ahead and insert three single crochets into that stitch, just like that. Chain two, turn your work. And here we are, we're going to begin row 7. Row 7 is an alternating row here. And if you look, see how the alternating uh, trebles are looking? So and the pattern is pretty much the same. So on your treble rows, you're going to start the row out with your growth row here with three double crochets. One, two, and three. Okay. And then next, what you're going to do is you're going to insert your hook down here, the very first stitch from two rows down, and you're going to do a front post treble crochet. But first we have to wrap twice. like that. One, two, three. Okay, and you're going to skip two stitches and you're going to go into the third one right there with a double crochet. Okay, and now to make it easier on you, you know the next stitch that you need to do is a front post treble, but where do you put it? So I go down here and I look, where did I last put one? So it's going to go right before it, because you never continue on with that treble. You leave it alone as it is. So you're always going to put it right before. So wrap twice, go right down, do your treble crochet, one, two, and three. And it should look like that. Okay. And now right above the previous treble, you're going to go ahead and insert your stitch here for a double crochet. And now we just alternate. Just like that. And then a double crochet. And then a front push treble. Just like that. Let me just get some more yarn here. Okay. So then the next stitch is going to be a double. And a triple. Then a double. And you're just going to alternate just like this. Okay. We're almost at the apex, so I'm just going to continue going on. So that was a double, so now we have to do a front post treble. I'm just going to go around. Now a double. Just like that. And now we're going to do double crochet. Okay, so there's nowhere for us to go, right? See how down here we were able to go into that last stitch? Well, because we ended the, the row here with a double, we're going to continue on just doing double crochets.
just like that. Okay, we're gonna chain two, and we're gonna mimic this. Every other row actually turns out to be like that. So double crochet here, oops. And then two more double crochets in the next two stitches. And so now we're gonna go ahead and start with our front post treble. We're gonna insert it right here, just like here. Just like that. And then we're gonna continue alternating. So always remember, just to make sure you know, you're know you lined up, make sure that your front post trebles are never on top of one another, they're always next to each other. Just remember you're skipping one stitch. And then you're gonna put your double crochet in the next stitch. You're just gonna alternate all the way down the side there. So go ahead and do that and I will meet you at the end of this row. Okay, so here we are at the end of row seven. I just did my last front post treble crochet. I'm gonna skip two stitches and I should have one stitch remaining. And then that last stitch, I'm gonna go ahead and do three double crochets. Just have to make sure to grab both loops, just like that. Okay. We're going to turn, or we're going to chain two and turn our work for row eight. And row eight, like row six, like row four, and like row two, it's going to be all single crochets. So in the first stitch, which is the growth stitch, we're going to go ahead and insert our hook for three single crochets. And we're going to go ahead and do single crochets all the way up the side. And then we're going to we're going to chain two or I'm sorry single crochet chain two single crochet and then do all single crochets down here and that will meet you right here at this last stitch okay we'll just go back up here again for row eight it's going to be all single crochets okay so I will see you at the end of this row Okay, so here we are at the end of the row. There's one stitch remaining. We're going to go ahead and do three single crochets. We're going to chain two. We're going to go ahead and turn our work for row nine. This is, this is how we're looking. It's looking pretty amazing. nice and even looks great now the imperfect like you're not gonna this isn't gonna be perfect like as you build you're gonna see it like it's gonna build its shape the further out you go I mean it actually builds itself you know as you continue on with the pattern so don't fret or get discouraged if it doesn't look perfect just continue on making sure your stitches are right and you'll be good, okay? So now we're on the right side and on the right side, we're going to be doing our trebles, the treble side here. I love the texture, it feels great. Okay, as with the other rows, we're gonna start the row with three double crochets. Just like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and do a front post treble in that very first one right there. Just like that. And then we're gonna skip two. And in the third one, we're gonna go ahead and do a double crochet, just like we did in the previous rows. 
And then now what we need to do is just kind of look at where the last treble was, you know, in the previous rows there. You're going to go right before it. Just make sure we're right here. Yep. So this, see, we did a treble here, then this belongs with this, and then now this needs to be the next treble because we don't go over top of it, we go next to it. So we're going to do that. Do a treble just like that. And then right above the stitch, just make sure we're skipping that one. We're going to go here and do a double crochet. Next is a treble. Again, we're just alternating. Just like that. It's a double, and then now in this stitch, treble, double, treble, double. Okay, so continue on doing that, and I shall see you at the apex. Just like that, okay? I'll see you shortly. Okay, guys, so here I am at the apex for row nine, and if you alternated correctly, you should have ended with two double crochets, the last double crochet being inside of the apex there. So now what you want to do is chain two, go back into the apex with a double crochet, and then do a, uh, another crochet, a double crochet right next to it. Just like that. And then now in the very first stitch, what you want to do is do a treble, a front post treble crochet. Oops. Okay. And then now what you want to do is you want to do double crochet. And then now what you want to do is a front post treble crochet. And if the if it maths correctly, if it adds up right, you'll wind up doing this next to and not on top of. So your front posts never go on top of one another. They always go next to each other, just like that. And you're gonna go in between the previous front post trebles and then insert another front post treble, then a double. And just continue alternating all the way down, just like this, and I will see you at the end of the row. Okay, so here we are at the end of row nine. I stopped right at the place where we have the three single crochets from the previous row, right here. So now what we need to do is just do a front post treble down here from two rows down like we've been doing pull this over like that make sure you skip the two and then in this last one you're going to insert three double crochets Just like that. Okay. All right. So now we're going to start round 10. So to do that, it's an even number, which means it's getting single crochets. So we're going to go ahead and chain two, turn our work. In the first stitch, we're going to go ahead oops, and do three single crochets. One, two, three and we're going to do single crochets all the way down so we get here it's going to be single crochet chain two single crochet and then we're going to go ahead and do single crochets all the way down here till we get to the last stitch which is right there right here 
we're going to do three single crochets. So I will see you when we get to this point right here. Okay, I just finished row 10, which was a row of single crochets. Now what we need to do is chain two and turn our work. Okay, and so here what we need to do, this is our alternating row, our trebles row, right? Because we're on the front side. As same with all the rest of the rows. What we need to do is do three double crochets in the first stitch. One, two, three. And then we want to do a front post treble crochet in the very first stitch there from two rows down. Just like that. And then what we want to do, make sure we skip two stitches. And then in the third one right here, we want to insert a double crochet. Just like that. Okay. And then in the next stitch, what we want to do, let's see here, we want to make sure we're doing a front post treble crochet right next to the previous one. Sorry, I'm out of screen here. We're going to do a front post treble crochet, just like that. And then right above the previous uh, front post treble, we're going to do a double crochet right above it. As I said before, we don't carry up the front posts. We just put doubles above it. And then we just go in between the previous posts. It's your classic Alpine stitch. The only variation is that you're doing a treble instead of a double. It actually lays better when you do trebles, sorry. It lays better in my opinion. It doesn't curl. So just continue on. Alternating between double crochet and front post trebles all the way down. And I will meet you at the apex. Okay, so here I am at the apex of round 11. And you should have ended this side with three double crochets, just like that. You're going to continue on this side by mimicking this. So we're already in the apex, so we're just going to go ahead and chain two. And then we're going to go ahead and go inside there with a double crochet. And then two additional double crochets right after that. And then we're going to start with our front post double crochet in the second one, just like over here. Oops. Just like that. And then a double crochet next door there. And then go in between the posts. Carry on your classic alpine stitch here. Again, with the only difference being it's a treble instead of a double. Just like that. And just continue doing that until we get to the end of row 11. Okay. Okay, here we are at the end of row 11. I'm going to go ahead, just make sure that we skip two stitches and there's one remaining. We're going to go ahead and do three double crochets in that last stitch of the row there. One, two, and three. Okay. Let me just back up a little bit. Okay. All right. So if you look here, 
there are five rows of front post trebles. Okay, one, two, three, four, and five. And there's also five rows of singles here. All right, so there's a total of 11 rows, not counting the base rows. So there's 11 here, all right? And there's gotta be five complete sections like this to build the scarf, all right? So the ridges is what comes next. So once you've done five complete rows of the front post trebles, all right? What we're gonna do is chain two and turn our work, and we're gonna create that, that ridge. So now what we need to do, chain two, turn our work, and now what we're gonna do is, instead of doing single crochets like we've been doing on the back side, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna, well first we're gonna do three double crochets here. One, two, and three. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do front post double crochets all the way down the side, okay? Okay, so front post double crochets. We're gonna start with that very first stitch down here. And every single stitch is going to get a front post double crochet all the way down. every stitch just make sure that you're grabbing every stitch you can turn your work just to make sure that you're building that ridge which we are so go ahead and continue on and I will meet you at the apex up here okay okay so here we are I'm at the apex well, approaching it anyway. No, I'm here. Okay. <laughs> so when we once we get here, what we're going to do is just a regular double crochet. Chain two, double crochet. And then we're going to carry on as we did with the front post double crochets. And the front side should look like this. Okay. So let's continue on. Front post double crochets all along the side here to create that ridge. Just like that. And I will see you at the end of the row. Okay, so we just finished row 12 here with the front post double crochets on the back side. So we're gonna go ahead and turn it over. I'm just gonna swing this back up a little bit. Okay, so this is what we're looking like here. It's beautiful. Okay, so now this whole entire thing gets repeated five times. So we're gonna repeat row two all the way to 12 five times. Okay, so it's a 10 row repeat five times. All right, so row two was the front post and the back post and all of the things. So what we need to do here for row 13 is create the front and the back and the front and the back. But here's the thing, because we don't have a row of singles, you don't do the triple, the, the, the treble crochets. The, you know, you're not gonna do any of that. So for this here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do three double crochets. One. Oops. Two. Three. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to alternate between front post and regular, front post and regular. There's no back post, okay? So the first stitch is going to get the front post. And 
and then a regular double crochet and then the front post so every other one you're alternating and it only happens right after you do the ridge okay and that's only because we only do single crochets on the wrong side on the back side we don't do it on the front side okay so let's go ahead and continue doing this we're going to alternate between the front post double and the regular double okay and i will meet you at the apex okay here we are at the apex of row 13 and we're going to insert double crochet chain two double crochet we're going to mimic this here so the first side here we started with the front post double and we alternated doubles all the way down and you should have ended with a front post double and then in the apex it's just double crochet chain two double crochet and then you're going to start with a front post double you're going to alternate all the way down. Just continue doing that until we get to the end here. Okay, so we ended here with a front post, just like how on the other side we started with the front post. So everything should be even. We began with the front post, ended with the front post, began with the front post, now we're ending with the front post. And then the last stitch here, we're going to do three double crochets. chain two and here we are friends okay so we have five complete sections here five complete sets of front post trebles the alpine stitch and then the single crochets on the back okay five complete sets and then we did the ridges together right so we you know, on the side that we should have done singles, we actually did front post doubles to create the ridge. We turned it around and then we did alternating double crochets, front post, regular, front post, regular. Okay, so you're going to repeat this five times. And that is, that's basically the scarf. That is our project. And... If you need help with the repeats, just go ahead and rewind the video um, and just replay it if you have to, but it's literally all the same thing. You have five sets of the singles and your uh, front post trebles, and then you have the ridges here, and then you just repeat this. So that's three. That's four, and this is five. And then, yeah, I finished it with a row of single crochets. So one, two, three, four, and five. Okay? So that's that's pretty much the tutorial, guys. It's pretty straightforward. Um, again, you know, just keep repeating until you get to your desired length mine is two and a half feet going this way and six feet going this way and yeah if you guys have any questions feel free to sound off in the comments but yeah and let me just go ahead i will meet you guys on the other side okay guys so i hope you liked that tutorial for this scarf or a hug or a shawl, however you want to wear it. It's perfectly fine. Um, there's a lot to it. 
Um, but yeah, so it's definitely warm. It's a labor of love. Again, you know, as I just did this with you, I, I used um, Red Heart Super Saver in the colorway Aaron just for the purposes of this tutorial. But again, you can use four weight yarn, you can use five weight yarn. The pattern is going to be the same regardless of what size you use. I do uh, indicate in the beginning how much uh, yardage I, I used for the project. So if you're going to go ahead and use a four weight yarn, just keep in mind you're going to need a little bit more than what I indicated for my five weight yarn here. So this was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to sound off in the, the comments below. Um, I will do the best I absolutely can to assist you guys. Um, if you enjoyed this, feel free to hit like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I have tons of material coming out. Tons of material I've already done. And uh, yeah, until the next one, guys, have a great one. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.